Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we're going to take a look at a brand new reverb plugin from Hornet Plugins. This is Hornet Springverb, of course based upon Spring Reverb. So the way Spring Reverb works is you have actual springs at tension and a signal is sent through them and then the vibration of the springs is picked up with some type of pickup and that's how you get this actual mechanical reverb out of it. Really commonly built into guitar amps. You can hear like if you bang on a guitar amp and you can hear the springs shake in there. Uh, for the spring reverb but it can be a really small mechanical reverb rather than something like a plate which is gigantic this algorithmic reverb is really flexible because it allows you to control how many springs you have plus a bunch of other controls over here which we'll look at in a second i'm just going to leave it on its default setting right here the only difference that i did is moved it up to 100 percent wet because it's on a send here on a separate bus and just hear how it sounds as a send on a guitar solo I'll bring the reverb channel down and back up as it plays. You can hear that little bit of shimmering here. One of the cool things we can do is actually change the amount of spring. So if we want a mono reverb, we just go to one spring. If we want a stereo reverb, two springs. And if we want it to be even more lush, we go three springs. Let's go back to two. And now I'm going to play with some of these time and decay settings. But what I'm going to do is solo the reverb by itself. So I'm going to put that send on pre-fader, slide the main fader all the way down. Now all we're hearing is reverb. Density control is pretty unique. Now we'll go on to three again. Let's really push up the reverb time. One of the unique things about Spring Reverb, it's got a really characteristic sound that's different from anything else. Now let's try it out on a source we don't typically associate with Spring Reverb, uh, an upright piano. So here it is with no reverb at all, just the dry piano part. And then we'll dial in the reverb here on its default setting. Just push up the fader. It actually sounds great on the piano. Now, if we wanted to make it a mono reverb, we could just move this spring back down to one and have this mono piano verb. And one of the cool things we could do there is pan the piano to one side and the reverb to the other side. So 
So there we go. Hornet spring verb from Hornet plugins, a really unique sounding reverb, of course, based upon classic spring reverbs with a lot of other features where you can really dial in the exact sounds you want to go for. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.